wish you the best. That started our journey together. At that very moment, I didn't know where I was. I had these three beautiful children. Two were in college. One was still in high school at 15. And our life completely changed. As we did with everything, as a family, we decided on what we were going to do. And for the first year, after I got elected county executive, the 15-year-old and I said, you know what? Or I said to the 15-year-old, we got this. We're going to huddle together. We're going to take care of mommy. I'm going to take mommy everywhere with me as I travel around this county. But we got it. Now, the 15-year-old didn't really understand what we got it meant. She didn't understand it meant that she would not be able to stay after school, that things they did on Friday nights would not be hers, that she, once she got home from school, would have to actually cook for her mother, make sure that she was dressed appropriately, and wait for me to come home to take over that shift. It became apparent about a year into my being county executive where my nerves were just completely shot. I had this very exciting and demanding job. I had a wife that couldn't sleep. I had a child that was not doing well in school. And it became clear that I needed help. One of the hardest things that I have ever, ever done and I thought picking childcare for my children would be hard. Try picking childcare for an adult. At the time that my wife needed help at home, she could not articulate if something was wrong. It meant that we were gonna bring a stranger into our house. It meant that the disease was gonna to progress to where the chair was talking about where you had to change that person. And at this point in my life, the benefits of being county executive were tremendous because in the morning I could get her dressed, go to work, come back at noon, get her dressed again, go to work, come back in the evening and put her to bed. But we needed help. We needed to bring people in to help us. And by the grace of God, we found this amazing lady to come into our house to make us feel comfortable that she could watch my wife, that she could do those things and give me the chance to go do my job. And so when we talk about what the cost of this profession is, it's not just a monetary thing. It's the emotional attachment. It's the emotional drain. And so the work you're doing to provide care and advocacy is about a profession that everybody is going to need. I guarantee you, everyone in this room will need someone to help care for their loved one or themselves. We needed it when my wife was 48. But at some point, everyone's going to need it. And so my role really here this evening is to thank you and to encourage you to advocate harder for what we need in this field. SEIU 1199 is doing its part. We all need to do our part. So I want to thank you. I hope you pay attention to this film that, we, that, that you're about to see. And I hope it inspires you to do the work that we need to make sure this stays on the front. God bless you.